I was thinking I could make some kind of little intro for this. Something that would have like... I can't do animation. But I have a talented sister who knows how to draw. And maybe I could get her to draw me some birds. I thought about that. I also thought about it would be cool if I actually took video and audio, more importantly, of, and I suppose I could do that with the animation, depending on which way it goes. If I could get a bird that cheeps, and if I could get a bird that chitters, and I could get that together. If I could get video of each one of those, I could cut them together and then be like, the bird is cheeping and the word comes up and it says cheep. And then the word comes up and it says chitter. And then it's the video. And that's an intro. I thought about that. That would be a cool thing to do. I have to get out and do that with audio related equipment and video. Which I don't have anything like that today. So it won't be today. <laughs> but for the future, maybe. Anyway, I don't, um, I don't know how much I have to talk about personally. Uh, here at this point, we're out on a Sunday morning. Uh, stayed home yesterday because it was cloudy. And I stayed home the past couple weekends because I've had plenty of editing to do on the footage that I already captured. And then um, work. Yeah, on that side income. I do. I'm, I'm close. I'm close. If I stick to my normal schedule, by the end of this month, I'll be totally done with everything that's been mailed to me so far. Which I think is like 70-something products. I did... I. I can typically, well, by spending a couple of hours, it's like three hours, of, you know, taking all the pictures. So I do like, I, I try to get eight at a time. Eight is a pretty good amount because I can do eight. I can shoot eight on one day and I either go straight into editing or I save it and I do, if I spread it out over all three days, I can make it part of the process where I shoot all, I shoot eight products. I take all the photos of eight products on the second day and I start doing my editing with, uh, like, batch editing, things like that, where I just, I, I stylize, I'll take the first one of several because they're all taken with the exact same settings, so theoretically they should all be basically the same. And I take those and I go, all right, let me change up everything here and make it look the way I want it to. That's good. Now do the, just copy-paste, basically. I just say, all right, do it, do it like this one that I've picked before. And so all the ones of that photo that I took of that product, I can just kind of batch edit all those. So that makes it go a little bit faster. Then I have to go in and pick them, um where I take, I take a lot of photos of the same thing, where it's like, here, I've positioned, I've positioned this tripod in this position, and then I take a picture with the focus on the very tip of it, the closest to me, and then I focus a little bit further, and 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 then you take, like, five different photos at different focuses throughout the entire thing, and then you blend them all in Photoshop. And that way you get crisp, clear edges on everything and there's no chance of it being out of focus or blurry or anything like that. You get the best detail. So that's, I believe, called bracketing. And I do it on everything because I just can't, I don't have, I don't have the kind of setup and lights and everything to be able to. That would be cool if I could just get one shot and everything was fully in focus from the entire focal range. But that would require me to have, I think, a lot more light in order to open up my f-stop all the way. Um, and then pull way back so that I have enough. The closer you are, the it's a whole thing. I don't know how to fully explain it. But if you've learned anything about photography, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, trust me, because I don't have a good way to explain the entire thing. There's, It's something about the further away you are from a subject, the more you get in focus. And I know that because the closer you are, you can have a much smaller window, which is how when I'm trying to take pictures of birds, technically the closer I am, the better, because, you know, I'm, unless I'm disturbing, then you can blur out the whole background and the, the bird really pops out. Anyway, point being, I usually do eight. Eight, the first, eight, take photos of eight products. I come out with... 100 photos, because you do a lot. Like I said, the bracketing, and then all the different angles that I have to do. And I have to get them in specific positions. Then, the, then if I spread it over three days, the second day, which is what I've been doing the last month, 
Second day, do all those edits like I talked about. The third day is where I actually go in and start going on an individual product and go, all right, let me get everything ready for there and call it done. And that's where I change to doing all that in Photoshop and actually go in and drop out the background and add all the text and graphics that we use and the whole nine yards, right? And so I do eight because I can get everything shot I can get everything batch edited, and then I can do four in one day without killing myself on time. So I still have time to do other things. I can get four done, and then I have four to do during the week. And that's been my schedule. My routine is to wake up at like five, get downstairs to the computer around 5.15, 5.20, and then I can get one product edited before I actually clock in for work at six o'clock. So I can do that, and then I get four done on the four days that I work, and four done before, and that's the eight. Now, I went ahead and did more yesterday. I photographed for about five and a half hours, and I did 16 products. And I also played around with it a fair amount because I got a new tripod. Um, I really needed a, a tripod with a center column that would allow me to put the camera on a, on a vertical, I mean a horizontal axis to point it straight down and get a flat table shot. It makes it a lot easier. I've been doing those shots so that you can get it on a flat plane to show the measurements of the item but uh, I just stand it up as best I can or prop it up or tape it up or hang it from fishing line or anything else to avoid trying to buy an expensive setup. And then I just bought a $100 tripod that has a center column that can be rotated to go horizontal. So I did get that. That was nice. I used a little bit of the money that has come in from that, which has been the majority of that gets split up to pay for the taxes of it because it's not taxed as I'm an independent contractor. And then some goes into savings, and then the rest goes towards paying off debt, because I have a lot of debt to pay off. So, anyway, I took a little bit of that, and I spent that on a new tripod that I can use for everything. So, I knocked out those 16 yesterday, which means that I've got to start editing today or tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'll be able to get through that. It's the 17th right now. Uh, I'll be able to get that through everything by the end of the month. And then we'll see what happens if I get more stuff sent to me or not. Um, we'll see. I am under contract for it. So it's just a matter of whether or not we have more things at the warehouse to send. And if they are willing to do that, basically, to continue paying me for taking products of them, photos of the products that we sell. So anyway, that's been taking up a lot of time on the weekends. Like I said, I did that for five and a half hours yesterday. And I'll probably do another two, three hours of editing, if not today, then tomorrow. And then uh, the rest of the weekend is spent playing Elden Ring, which I completed the main story on the first playthrough. And then I started collecting everything. And I'm close to being done, which means when I get everything done that I can get on that playthrough, I move into playing through it again, which I'm quite happy with. And I finished the Pokemon game that I'm currently working on, so... It's going pretty well. Going pretty well. Well, uh, that's uh, about all I got on the personal side of things, I suppose. Uh, I'll look up a question later, like I like to do. I'll do that at the end of the day. Uh, we'll see what we can see for wildlife. I'm about to go out and look for that. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is eat a banana and a protein bar so I can have some energy before I go out. I also have a bagel. In case I decide I want a bagel later. Because I got a bagel for some reason. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this. For right now. This will hard cut to something else at the end of the day, maybe. And here we are at the end of the day. After all the walking around, seeing lots of birds, plenty of specimens. Hopefully got some good photos out of that. Pretty good stuff. Um, I think I've really talked about everything personal on update-wise. This is kind of what's going on there. So the question that I, I looked through the, uh, the list that I have, and I saw one that said, historical figures often have, hope I pronounced this correctly, epithets? I don't remember how it's spelled either, but attached to their name. and the, I mean, so-and-so, the wise, or the mad, or something like that. What would yours be? And more realistic, I would love it to be something like, Michael, the insightful, or the well-spoken, or the, the world traveler, the something, something positive like that. But more realistically, it would probably be like the Joker, or, well, not, not the Joker like from Batman, but like the jokester, like... The guy who doesn't take things seriously enough often in serious situations when I'm cracking jokes or 
the uh, <laughs> the wisecracker, the smartass, depending on who you ask. I've been called a smartass many times. So that, that would be what I would hope for and what might be a little more realistic to my character as it is, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Every day, learn a little more, try to do a little further. Go a little further, I mean. The well-spoken. Got that. Working on it. I did wrap up uh, recording uh, that, that audiobook. I will probably take a break from that because I don't have quite the time to, to do that. I've already talked about that. That might even be in this video. I might cut in. You know what? Cut in here. And we're back. Well, it is a Monday. Just a quick thing here, because I just finished recording the last uh, chapter of the Alice's Adventures in Wonderland audiobook that I was doing as a way to practice speaking on a regular basis and giving me a script that I could read. It was interesting. First of all, I'd never heard the story all the way through. I've only seen the Disney animated movie and then the live action was it Tim Burton? It must have been because it had his favorite actors in it. And then Kingdom Hearts has an Alice in Wonderland level. That's really my only experience with the story. It was different, but I could see where they pulled from for different things. Anyway, point being, I thought the entire project was interesting, and I'm really glad that I finished it before things start getting busier, as I will be using this time slot. It's two or three hours that it takes me entirely to read the chapter first, read it through again, then read it aloud while recording, and that takes a good 20 minutes at least, depending on how much I flub and have to do over again. So thoroughly a very interesting experience, but also there's plenty of pausing while I wait for the neighbor's dog to stop barking, or if anyone is using plumbing in this apartment or the next one, which is why Monday usually works out for the best. I am home alone if I'm not out doing wildlife stuff, but as we move closer into warmer weather, which I'd like to say, as on a Monday, it snowed yesterday, and it will be snowing again tonight. Warmer weather, eventually. <laughs> I was hoping by April, but maybe later in April. It will get warmer at some point, that is for sure, and I will be heading out. So I probably will not jump into another book at this point, but maybe I will save that for next year. Maybe that will become a winter project every time, because that does use up a good chunk of time. Like I said, it's two or three hours to fully read through the book, record the audio, and then edit it. Editing does take the longest chunk of time where I have to go in and edit all of my breathing and pauses and flubs, and there's a lot to it. I have very much a respect for people who record audio professionally. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm learning as I go. Every new thing that I go, well, this doesn't sound very good, so how do I fix that? And start Googling about it. But, to the point. It was a good, fun project. I'm glad I stuck with it until at the end. I did start waning a bit there in the middle, where it was like, oh, I gotta do that. And I gotta do that on the weekend, and Monday's usually the best day for it, which kind of keeps me inside during, you know, at least part of the day. If I go out and do something in the morning, I'm less likely to want to come home and jump into recording a chapter of the audiobook. So, thankfully the book was short enough, and uh, good, enjoyed it. Anyway, I'll stick this into a video at some point, because it's definitely not enough for one full one on its own, but, or maybe it'll just be a small little update. Depends on what I, what I do. And we're back. But I don't have much else. There was the question that I would, I would like it to be something positive, something nice. The, the knowledgeable I would like to learn many, many things about these subjects that I'm interested in and be able to share that with others. Uh, that would be nice. A, a nice epithet. 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 Ep epiphany. Apple pie. Mmm. I'm hungry. Not so much for apple pie. I don't really go in for sweets, but I'm going to try making something new today. I saw a recipe online while I was working during the week, something about 
Well, they did it differently. That was making dough to make a flatbread, like a almost like a pita bread or um, something that you you cook on the you cook on the stove on a high heat pan and it puffs up real big. But in the center of it, what they what they put into it when they were forming the dough ball, they put really really mashed mashed potatoes, so it was super creamy, super smooth. Um, and inside of that was mozzarella. I'm not going to do the potatoes, but I did think mozzarella is great. And I could do it with like garlic and butter and make it like almost like cheese bread, cheesy sticks, whatever you get from your local fast food pizza establishment. But instead put it in the inside, cook it up with all the butter and garlic and everything, cook it on the stove and then have cheese on the inside of it because I have some leftover spaghetti from last week that I made that, uh, I will be eating today for lunch. So I'm going to try making the bread to go with that. And that will be an experiment because I've never done that before. I've made bread a few times, but I've never made uh, a flatbread or a, a bread that you cook on the stove. All the bread I've made has been cooked in the oven. So I'm excited to try that today. And then I will play Elden Ring and I will either prep my meals to, for the week today or I will do that tomorrow. And then I will get to editing because I have a lot to edit. I have to, I've, I've made it my goal to try to get the sage grouse done in April and it is April 17th. So we're midway through and I'm not nearly far enough along on that. So I got to crack down and get onto that. Everything today needs to come out at some point, but I may hold off on that just a bit, just so I can focus on the other one. Um, and that's it. And that's why I'm trying to wrap projects up like the audiobook. wrap that up and stop that. And I might, I talked about it in the other one that I've already clipped in. I'm just kind of repeating myself, but it may come back around next winter. I may make that a yearly thing, or I may find more time for it one day. One day when this dream comes true and I don't have to work 40 hours a week at a minimum, and I can work a little less and be able to put money and, well, not money, time, time, money, whatever, have the money to put the time into this that I want to do, which is why I'm out here doing it. Plus, I like it. I'm going home now. I have things to do. And I had a good day. And I took a lot of pictures. And I hope some of them came out. And that's it.